Heplan's motto, Efficient Engineering. Now our first step kitting is done. Let's go for the second step, which is the mechanical insulation. When I look at some of the websites out there, I can see that different tools exist. Uh, here, this is an interesting one. It's a semi-automatic cutting of cable docks and the covers and DIN rails. How could we help them? Well, primarily, when we go back into ePlan, we know that uh, we can actually activate here a specific workspace. In this case here, I'm looking at the Pro Panel workspace. This is where our panel layouts are actually created. So I picked a panel. Uh, on this panel here, I can show you the mounting panel itself. I'm going to drill it down and I'm going to show you how I can add here some additional thin rails. So just use control, control, center, goes over. There we have a new DIN rail that was positioned. So of course, uh, I've done this for the two panels that I have. And behind the scene, I haven't placed any components yet. I can already at this step create a view inside ePlan for the mechanical insulation. So here, this I call it my cut sheet. So what I'm doing is I'm drilling down primarily here to my mounting panel. I'm looking at the front view, hidden view is perfect, and I define uh, a filter to only show wire ducts. This is all standard in ePlan. So behind the scene what I also do is I add this list. When you look carefully at this list, every one of these DIN rails and every one of these cable docks is identified with a specific length and I've done this for both of my panels. So this is my second panel and we can see all the details and now we're ready to actually do the cuts. And this would cover, of course, the ideal documentation to cover the mechanical insulation or the pre-cut of the wire docks and the DIN rails.